Welcome to another presentation, Kista 3D View Station, today running on a Windows uh, tablet PC. The Windows 8 devices have the big advantage that you can run as well as desktop applications uh, and uh, browser applications. So first of all, let's have a look on uh, the desktop application, which we can use uh, combined either with a pen or with a finger. So 3D View Station supports uh, all the, the standard geishas, uh, like you can see, uh, rotation or zoom uh, selection. Um, if it comes down to deselect uh, items in the model tree, like here, it might be more convenient uh, to use the pen rather than uh, trying to uh, select or deselect or show and hide uh, uh, using your fingers. Yeah. So what we've done here, we have loaded a pretty large assembly, which is, uh, is more than 600 megabytes as a pro-engineer file, a complete car. <coughs> and we have uh, hidden some, some items. We have isolated the powertrain, so we are operating now in the, in the gearbox. And uh, especially for usage on, on tablet PCs, um, we have uh, enhanced our ribbons so that you have uh, pretty large uh, icons uh, which you can switch the behavior of your finger, respective uh, left mouse button or left pen button or the standard pen button. Yeah. So uh, this way it's, it's pretty easy to use the um, uh, complete functional set of 3D view station, like in this case uh, doing measurements um, and uh, all the other tools um, which we have developed for the standard desktop product. So um, on a tablet PC, to be honest, we do not expect people to run uh, two, compre two comprehensive analy analysis functions. Um, uh, we have been more asked for uh, providing, for instance, red line and markup capabilities. So selecting items in assemblies is always important, red line markup, maybe some measurements. Um, still to prove that we are uh, able to run the, the, the complete functionality of the desktop product, on, on even on a tablet. Um, we are now loading a native uh, file um, and enter the uh, draft analysis uh, function. So you have seen um, that uh, we um, uh, loaded the, the geometry, the BRAP geometry, and um, we then went into the draft angle analysis. And uh, depending where I point with the pointer, it shows me the on, on the right side the, the draft angle. Um, <coughs> let's continue loading um, a few um, other models. Um, this one is originally coming from uh, SolidWorks. Um, um, you can see it, it uh, doesn't really matter. Um, where objects are coming from. So let's hide the cover, for instance. Um, let's uh, use another um, uh, very nice uh, selection tool, which is the uh, geometric uh, neighborhood uh, search computation. So select an, an object and uh, then let 3D View Station find um, all objects which uh, reside in the neighborhood of this uh, particular part. Now, Having seen how the desktop version works, uh, you know, the big advantage of Windows 8 is really that you also could go for the browser. So if we go to the, the RT uh, uh, user interface of Windows 8 and st uh, start the RT-based Internet Explorer, um, we also can go um, and work on our geometry. In this case, as being browser-based, um, we work on files which are stored on a, on a server. And we have, uh, let's say, the most important capabilities like zoom, rotate, select, uh, show, hide, uh, markup functionality, uh, explode, sections, uh, name if you. Um, what you've seen here is with, with the, the blurring effect here is uh, that we have the choice between two different rendering modes and we are now using the server side rendering and that's a reason why the load of this really complex uh, copier which uh, was a couple of hundred megabytes in original cat data we, we were able to load that in only a few seconds now let's uh, have a look on a few other parts so you've seen we again we selected the ssr means server side uh, rendering and um, let's just walk through a few other models. Uh, important to know is that uh, as we do uh, the server-side rendering, the bandwidth we need uh, is pretty uh, 
small, so a uh, 3D view station in server-side rendering mode will work uh, with similar speed even on a cell phone with a, a rather bad uh, bandwidth connection. So again, uh, we loaded this race car, and you've seen, you know, and uh, with the desktop product, we have been loading that from from our hard disk. In this case, we were loading it uh, through the internet connection, and that that's really great, you know. This is a uh, as said before, it's a 600 megabyte uh, Pro E in original, and it it loads uh, only in a few seconds, uh, even in a in a uh, in a wireless device, and this is a little, little sensation. Okay, let's go through some other files, and uh, here, for instance, a uh, complete uh, motorbike. Yeah, you know, the blurring disappears rather quick, so uh, we feel that is uh, pretty much accept acceptable. Um, now, again, an another example. Now, let's compare with a rather small assembly with client-side rendering. What you see, it it really takes a uh, much more time. Um, to download the geometries first and then render on the client. So that's a big disadvantage. The advantage is, uh, while moving, rotating, you can see um, the the display is much, much nicer uh, than before. And we can do the measurements. <coughs>